Hey guys, good morning. In this video, I'm going to be talking about forced heat exchangers and the benefits that they have over the common catalytic type heater, which is like the Mr. Buddy. You can find it in any department store. So stay tuned if you want to hear more about that. Big word reviews. Your home improvement connection. Mr. Buddy heaters are great, but in the cold when you really need them, they're pumping out a lot of moisture into the air. And you'll end up getting mold growth if you don't take measures to eliminate that moisture using something like a dehumidifier. If you want to avoid that hassle, you can use something called a forced heat exchange heater. They can run on fuel directly out of the gas tank in your vehicle, or you can use other gases like propane or butane. A Mr. Buddy heater is great. It's really efficient. It burns, but the problem is it expels the gases. One of them is carbon monoxide, and that is output right into the living quarters. That's not ideal. So our goal is to get fresh, clean air that comes from the outside of the van, heat it, and then dispel the hot air inside the van while eliminating the toxic gases like carbon monoxide to the outside side of the van. One way to accomplish that is with a forced heat exchanger. The great thing about these is they throw off very dry heat and it takes any dampness right out of the air. As a matter of fact, you could take a shower and then hang that wet towel in your living quarters and it would dry with just a short amount of time. There's a particular maker of these that I recommend. They're really popular in the UK, but I've seen some installations here in the United States. It's a company named Propex. There's two air circuits. There's a combustion air and cabin air, and they're completely separate. And there are a few different ways to install it. If it's inside the vehicle, you could even put an air filter on the intake valve, and that could act as a whole house air purifier, which is kind of cool. Added benefit. Do a little bit of research, but the model I'm looking at is the Propac HS2211. So the great thing about this particular model is it runs off propane, and it uses 12 volt, and it's just so that the heater blower fan can run. And it's not always running because it's thermostat controlled. It's very small, uses external air for combustion. It circulates that air and then heats the interior air. Uh, one downside is that it's kind of expensive. I saw them ranging from about $700, but with additional parts up to $1,000. And it will take a professional installation. I'm sure you guys are really talented though. Um, you guys can figure it out. But it works great and keeps the van really warm from what I've heard. Another brand for this type of heater is the Webesto. That's something like uh, Rolling Earthship has, and they're notorious for being noisy and just generally obnoxious. And these are the gasoline-based forced air heaters that uh, they usually siphon right out of the gas tank of the vehicle, so that's awesome. And it's great for convenience, but it's probably not the best for stealth, being that it's just so loud. There's a few different ways to install the heater in regards to the placement of the exhaust pipe, and this can affect the overall noise of the blower fans. But to give you an idea of the sound, it's about as loud as the heater in your car. So just think that what that would sound like when your engine is running. The Propex noise comes from the fan. Uh, there's only one speed in there, but it puts out a lot of air. So, But it does make noise when you compare it to a catalytic heater like the Mr. Buddy. But it's really not that loud. By far the largest consumer base of these heaters um, are Westphalia owners that are replacing the heaters in their fan that have gone bad. So one problem with the Propex is sourcing them. They're produced in the UK, so if you're over there you can get one, but if you're a Yank over here in America, you're gonna have to rely on a distributor. But luckily there are a few distributors here on the West Coast. I actually lucked out, there's one in Santa Cruz, so not too far from me. And they're really small, they measure at a foot long by a half foot wide and about five inches high. Another brand besides the Propex to keep your eye on is the Dickinson Newport Propane Light of Heaters. I'm sure you guys watched Just Incredible, you've heard all about those. Dickinson heaters were intended to be used for boats, but a lot of people use them in RVs. A few people use them in Class B vans, and it is possible, it's just that it takes kind of a creative install due to the amount of vertical space that the venting requires. But they are damn good looking heaters and they set a really nice mood with the visible flame. There's two different models. There's the 9000 model and then a larger P12000 model. If this is gonna be in a van, you're gonna to wanna to go small. The 9000 is fine. In addition, it has variable heat output. It's low fuel consumption and it outputs 4000 to 5500 BTU. It burns about one pound of propane every five hours. That's gonna be less fuel than the Propex. I don't know exactly how much the Propex burns, but I've heard that it consumes less fuel. Now that's for a space up to 35 square feet, so I'm sure you'll be more than fine in the van. 
The one inconvenience I see about these models in comparison to the Mr. Bunny heater is that they don't have an igniter. You actually have to open the front of the stove and use like a Bic lighter. And another thing on this one, the fan is actually pretty loud. If you're gonna go stealth, it is sort of a detractor for this type of heater. I like the benefits of forced heat on air quality, but they're not as efficient as the catalytic type heaters because a lot of the heat is expelled outside the vehicle through the combustion process. Whereas the catalytic heater just burns the propane and emits the gases like carbon monoxide right into the living area. While deadly in large amounts, it's still contributing to the overall air temperature. I think it would be really nice if there was a kind of a compromise between catalytic type combustion and forced heat exchange heaters. I'd like to see a version where the exhaust pipe, instead of just going right out the side of the van, goes under the van and then back and forth and makes sort of like a heated flooring. I guess you could do some sort of custom installation like that. Oh my God, that'd be a lot of work. Anyway, if you're in a wetter, colder environment and a catalytic type heater is forcing you to become roommates with mold spores, maybe a forced heat exchanger will work well for you. Hey guys, if you got anything out of this video, please give it a like. And uh, if you super like the video, consider sharing it on one of your social networks. Um, so thanks a lot guys. Take care, stay warm and dry. Bye. Oh my god, dude. That is a thumb twister. Hey guys, this is the crow. Caw, caw. Thanks for watching. This video comes to you live from down by the river in a van. All right, take care, guys.